Hello again, everybody. Preston Kelshin, Realtor here. And if you're wondering what the home prices are here in the Seattle area and specifically north of Seattle here in 2024, I'm going to take you for a little tour, a little map tour around the area, show you what the prices are all around the Seattle area. We'll go north, south, east, and west. Take a look around your major employers like Boeing, Microsoft, uh, Costco, all the different places you could live, still get to those employers and what it would take to buy a home coming up. So let's jump into my computer and we'll take an actual look. All right. Here we are on the website. Get rid of the screens of infinity there. You can easily search the entire Northwest MLS on our website, northwesthomelistings.com. So just go northwesthomelistings.com, click the search button, and I'm going to start. Um, let's start with Everett. Because I'm in Everett. You can see behind me, we have the Seahawks logo. You got Mount Rainier up on the wall over there. Uh, so we're right here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm based in Everett, Washington. That's where Boeing is based, where they build all the big, big jets. And they build like the 737s, the smaller jets down in Renton. Um, so let's check out Everett first. And let's see what we can get, um, say, between 300000 and 500000 for a house or a condo. And I'm going to hit the map search button to pull up the map. And it looks like I see 18 results between 500, uh, 300 and 500,000. Um, and what we'll notice is a fair amount of them are, are here in North Everett. I see you know, just a little house, one bedroom, one bath for 300,000. Here's a three bedroom, two bath for 429. So these are low prices. If you can find a house for this budget in this area, uh, you're doing well. You're probably going to have to spend more than 500,000 to live in Everett. We can see there is a handful of homes and condos in that price range. But if we refine our search, which is real easy to do, let's go 500 to 800. And this again is the Everett area. Okay, we can see there's a lot more coming available. And as we go down, we can get into some of the more desirable areas out here east of town, southeast of town, Mill Creek. You can get a Looks two bedroom, three bathroom for eight hundred thousand. The price is down. Look, we see a lot of price reductions. So that's January twenty twenty four right now, and the market has kind of flipped. Right, there's going to be more of a buyer's market. There's not a lot to choose from, but if you find a house you like, you can expect more of a traditional transaction than what we've seen the past few years. You'll be able to negotiate on price, do an inspection, and maybe renegotiate the price or request some items to be repaired things that we hadn't been able to do for years because there have been buyers lined up around the corner that were willing to waive their inspections and make offers over the asking price um, and really uh, take a lot more risk when now there's not as many buyers lined up. Now, why is that? That's because interest rates are higher, so there's less uh, demand for houses and less competition. With that, less sellers are coming to the market, right? Because they go, well, I may not want to list my house right now because I hear there's a few less buyers out there um, looking at houses because of the rising interest rates. So we get stuck in this little area. So as soon as interest rates go down, which they have in the last month, we've seen a drop from about seven, closer to 6%. You start seeing the buyers come out of the woodwork, right? We're past the New Year's. So I would expect that we will see more buyer competition here in the Puget Sound over the next few months and through through the summer. Um, let's let's look south. So if you want to, actually, here's here's Boeing over here, Payne Field, Lake Stickney area. Boeing's right out here. Here's Payne Field, and Boeing's located there. So you can live all out in here, or any here in Mill Creek would be a great place to live. And you commute just west about 20 minutes over there to Boeing. Or a lot of people will live here, out in the Muckleteo area. You can see we're not finding a lot. So I'm going to raise my price my upper end price to no limit and do another map search. And let's go down here towards the Muckleteo area. Here it is, Muckleteo, and you have the ferry there. Whoops, don't want to pull that one up. Go back to the map. Bear with me here. All right. You see that little dashed line, Muckleteo Ferry runs out there to Woodby Island, and there's 
So some people live out there and they actually ride the ferry back and forth every day. It's only a 30 minute ride, right? But you may have to wait a little bit uh, and it's 30 minutes each way plus the cost of that. You could walk on or drive on, right? Big difference in the cost of the ticket. A, t- a drive on ticket, I think it's about $30. A walk on is about 10 bucks, somewhere in that price range. Um, but people do that every day. Others may need to commute to Seattle or the east side. And the east side, we call that the east side of this lake, Lake Washington, right? You've got Kirkland and Bellevue and Microsoft and all these places are over here on the east side. Here's Bellevue. Here's Redmond where Microsoft would be. Kirkland where Costco started. And now they're out here in Issaquah area all the way over here. Um, so if you worked at Costco, you probably want to live east side. You want to live out here in Issaquah if you can afford it. It's mammish. You could live further out here and get more bang for your buck in Fall City, Snoqualmie, getting rather expensive. Um, you're getting near uh, Snoqualmie Falls out there and the, the pass over to Eastern Washington and the ski areas. And then west of that, you could live in town in Bellevue, but it's quite expensive. Bellevue's a very clean city. This is a big city similar to Seattle, but night and day difference. It's clean, um, good place to visit, a uh, high end. Now, as you cross this bridge, Mercer Island is very high-end living, um, really kind of for the the more exclusive living place. It's an island, right? It's right between Seattle and Bellevue. But then we come into Seattle, right? And I-90 ends right near the stadium district and the industrial area south of there. We see there's not much for sale there because this is all industrial commercial area. And then we've got in-town living. Uh, We can see some very expensive properties in the city, in the millions. And then where a lot of people will live, will actually be maybe this Capitol Hill area or outside the city in North Seattle. Let's talk about Green Lake, you know, but we're talking millions of dollars now. Um, I'm not seeing anything in here that's under a million, right? We're in the ones, twos, threes to be that close to Seattle and in these areas. So you really got to get out here north of the city to find something that's under a million bucks. So Seattle, and Seattle's dirty, right? If you've seen anything on the news or anything, Seattle has really kind of gone downhill over the last five years or so. It's just there's a lot of homeless, a lot of drug use on the streets, a lot of tent encampments. Um, If you're not going down there for a major sporting event or something like that or you work there, like there's no reason to go there. There's no reason to live there. So I wouldn't suggest that unless you just have to be in the city. I would suggest if you can to live north, get more for your money, live way south, If you need to be down here, say near Boeing Renton um, or Tukwila or the airport down here, we can see prices start to drop as you get south of the city. You know, we probably find something. Let's go down here. Out here in the East Hill Meridian area, we started to get to more regular home prices under $1 million. I think you expect to see something like this here in Kent, a regular family home. $925,000 for a three bedroom. All right. So the best bang for your buck in Washington is up north. And this is where we are. If you want to help finding something or looking for a house in the Everett area or Snohomish County, that really encompasses basically everything we see here from Bothell up through Everett, the I-5 corridor, all the way to Burlington which is where I'm originally from. I can help you all the way up to here. And we continue through Bellingham. I'm familiar with there, and we have contacts and referral sources up there to the Canadian border. Obviously, we don't go into Canada if we can help it. Uh, just kidding. But but if you're moving down here, certainly love to talk to you. We love getting your questions. Again, my name's Preston Kalsch, and I'm a realtor here in the Everett area, specializing in Snohomish County and kind of the area we're looking at here on the map. Zoom back in there. And, you know, we just love answering your questions, taking your calls. So leave a comment on the video or give me a call. You can find all my info at northwesthomelistings.com. So hopefully this is helpful, what the prices and what the homes are going for here in the greater Seattle and the Everett area. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.